Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are getting ready to head out. I'm waiting on Ethan. Um, so I thought I'd start up the vlog right here. We are heading to Ikea. Finally, we're able to get there. We are redoing the girls' rooms before baby comes. We are switching them up and getting new dressers. I think the girls are yelling for me in the car. We're getting new dressers for each of the girls' rooms. And we are getting Delaney. Up. I think we're going to get Delaney a new bed there. We're going to look at it and make sure that it's going to be comfy and we like it for her. It's like a trundle day bed type thing that turns into a full bed. It looks neat, so we're going to try it. Uh, maybe try it. We're going to see. Uh, hopefully, they have it set up there where we can kind of give a good like look at it really good. So we're headed there to hopefully get their dressers. I hope they're in stock. Um, we have not, like, we've been wanting to go for, like, the past month or so, and we haven't had a chance to do it with Ethan's work schedule, so we're finally able to do it today, and then tomorrow we're hopefully, hopefully gonna start working on everything, get everything assembled, so let's head to Ikea and do some shopping, and we're gonna have a little, a very comfy date night, <laughs> a very casual date night tonight. <music> I'm about to die of heartburn. I need some heartburn relief. It is so bad. This baby, this baby better have some hair. We barely got everything to fit. We had to lay one seat down because the boxes are so long. We barely got it to fit, but we got it. Now we're starving ready for some. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning coming at you from the Starbucks drive through <laughs> I've got to order some Nespresso pods. I'm going to do that today. Um, but I am out grabbing everybody breakfast. We have a busy day today. Getting some stuff done. So I thought I'd bring y'all along for that. We ended up um, we ended up eating at a place called Culver's last night. We ended up eating in our car because they wasn't um, open to go inside. It's one of my favorite places to eat. It's delicious. Um, we ended up eating there. And then we came back and Ethan had to grab a tool from Lowe's. And then we had to grab a few things from Target for Delaney's bed um, to use for the time being. And so um, now we are getting ready. To, we are ready to get started. Fueling everybody up with breakfast. And um, Ethan's going to get started on the rooms. And pretty excited. And I'm just hoping like, just hoping that this is like, the right thing to do for their rooms. Grabbed my coffee. Anyways, I've debated on a couple different things. We were like, should we keep all the three girls in one room? I've gotten a few suggestions for that. Um, Delaney, Ren, and Millie getting triple bunks. The only thing about that is our bedrooms are not huge, especially the three like kids' bedrooms. We were looking for a four bedroom house, which is really hard to come by here unless we like built a house and we weren't ready to do that. But um, the only, we were so excited when this one um, came up and it was four bedroom. The only downside is uh, the three bedrooms that like the kids would use are not huge and they're not like super big. Um, so that's the only downside is like we were like well clothes storage and things like that so we ultimately decided to keep the uh, uh millie and ren get them low bunks and keep delaney in her own room and that kind of gives her her own homeschool space as she's finishing out the school year as well and i'm hoping this works i guess if it don't we can switch it up but i'm just really hoping millie and ren do well with this transition. I think Delaney will be okay, but it was really hard deciding like what's the best thing to do? Should we keep them all in the same room? We could keep a playroom or just go ahead and split them up. And so we've ultimately decided to split them up. So I'm hoping this is the right decision. And I think we're gonna hope maybe before baby's born, go ahead and kinda halfway get the baby's room set up as well. That's our plan. Anyways, we're are gonna go eat our breakfast and so we're gonna get started with things. All right, update. <laughs> All these diaper boxes have been in Millie's closet. So Ethan's breaking those down, throw them in the trash. But, got this room cleaned out. Someone, well, we've got to get this stuff off the dresser. Um, 
take all this out. Someone's coming to get this. Let me take that out. And then you're going to put, this is going to be Million Ranch Room, um, which is a little, little bit smaller than the other room, but we feel like this is just going to work out best. So they're going to put their bunk beds together, I think, first. And so this room's cleaned out. I think we're just starting here for now, and then we will work our way into Delaney's room eventually, sometime today. We are headed to Sam's Club, so I thought I'd include that in this video. Ethan and his dad spent the whole day yesterday putting things together, and they got everything done, thankfully. It took, uh, from like 10 30 well really you started a little bit before that he started taking like things down like the crib apart and stuff from 10 30 to 8 o'clock 7 30 8 yeah about 8 o'clock it took a very long time to put ikea stuff is like no joke to put together like it's a lot of things to put together so they had the ikea bed ikea dresser which we love um so far and then they had the bunk beds to put together as well and it took all day so we got everything put together we have not gotten like everything put in the dressers and organized and closets switched and things like that um we are working on that i'm gonna be working on that this evening but we have needed yeah, to come to yeah. sam's club over the past probably month and no. have not gotten to sam's club so yeah. we are making that trip today and stocking up on some things that we need laundry detergent toilet paper probably some food things um i think i'm gonna look for see what they have for like spring items clothing items for kids they're always so cheap there just kind of see what they have but um there's things that we really need from there so i thought i'd continue into today show that and then show the rooms when we get home and get everything finished because they are looking so good so far get everything out i'm just gonna show a haul like this um we always do sam's clubs paper towels toilet paper but they are out so i just grabbed what they had which were those and then i grabbed some trash bags grabbed some juice for the girls diapers for millie also some wipes which i don't usually get wipes at sam's club because i didn't i like the pop up tops like that and sam's club they were like Half of them were pop-up tops, half of them like didn't have those and it was just harder to stay closed. Does that make sense? But now all of them are like that, which is really convenient. Ethan picked these up. Um, we basically just got our essentials that we normally get there. Fabric softener and um, laundry detergent. The girls are outside playing while I'm doing this. Uh, this looked really good. I walked by it and saw it and picked it up because it looked really good. And then lastly, I got the girls some pajamas and a few little play clothes. Um, I got Millie these footed pajamas. I got that purple one, and they are five dollars each, four ninety eight, which is pretty awesome. And then I got her these, and then I got the big girls these mermaid pajamas. Both of them, those. All right, and then I also got the big girls this champion set with these shorts i got each of the big girls that and then i got millie and Rian this one um and what's really cute about this one is it's got little skorts i thought that was so cute like skort shorts i like those and that's the little clothes i got them so anyways we've got to start some spring clothes shopping for the end so i got them a few things that i like there um but yeah that's my sims club haul all right we are walking into the rooms to show we're gonna start with Delaney's room. Um, this is Delaney's room. Keep in mind, we have done like really no decorating except we've kept some things up that they had in here that we may keep up or we may um, eventually change out. But this is her room, Delaney's room, and uh, her desk, cause she does schoolwork right there. 
Her bed is from Ikea and we love it. It is a really nice bed. The only thing is the mattress that it comes with. Um, we're gonna change the mattress or we are going to, I think we're gonna try a mattress topper and see if that helps. But what's really cool about it is it pulls out because we wanted like a trundle bed, but it pulls out. It can pull out and there's um, there's like two mattresses right there so we can kind of pull but pull the other mattress out mattress out and it makes a big bed so if like all the kids wanted to have like a little sleepover in here one day this pulls out and makes like a really big bed which is really cool the other thing about it is it's got these really deep drawers she wanted to put her pajamas in this one so I let her do that and then she's got like toys and or craft stuff toys in the other two but they're really deep and has really good storage um but the bed is super nice love 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 the bed if we can only figure out how to make it more comfy because it's really I don't suggest the mattresses because they're not very comfortable but um it's a nice bed though and then the dresser we were trying to find we were going to get her a new chest of drawers from ikea they were sold out of what we were going to get so we decided to keep the one she has for now and we'll order her something or eventually find her new drawer a new dresser to put in here but this is delaney's room so far this is what we've done so far in here and it's turned out great um so yeah she really likes it she slept well in here and it looks good now we're coming to the little girl's room this is their new room they got we got low bunks for them millie's bed sits all the way on the floor which is what we wanted and rand is not super high which is kind of what i wanted for her too because i don't think she wanted to be real high off the ground she wasn't a big fan of like sleeping on a top bunk but she's done so well and she loves it um but there i will try to link what i can below but their bed i think i ordered yeah i ordered from walmart.com but i will link it below it is great it's really pretty the um they had like a gray they had like an off-white and i knew i didn't want off-white and i thought the gray would look really pretty with their bedding we kept the same bed bedding on here as we did the old bunk beds because you really cannot like betty's beds are seriously the best for bunk beds and i knew like I didn't want anything else but Betty's beds. And even in Delaney's room, I'm also going to order her some Betty's to go on her bed. I just hadn't done that yet. So we just picked up. And let me show y'all because I didn't um, talk about all of that. But her bedding is from Target. And um, so we went ahead. It was on sale. We went ahead and got that for the time being until I can get her Betty's ordered. It's really pretty. She loves it. Um, so we got this really pretty. It's a quilt. And then picked out the um heart uh gold heart sheets and got this cute little floral quilted pillow to go with it and then her curtains um we we have to get her another panel um but these match like so perfectly and i didn't even realize that those are the curtains we had at our old house in the little uh, in their rooms um but we had two sets of two panels in uh, the rooms and a while back i had bought one more to change out in here and we needed two more and i didn't realize that and i went on target.com to order the other one and they do not have the size that we need i think they're getting rid of these so i think we're gonna have to um get her new curtains because i don't think we're gonna be able to find one more to go on that side but um yeah all that that is from target the bedding and the curtains as well but as far as the beddies i will leave i do have a discount code that gets you 20 percent off if anybody wants to try it so many of y'all have used my code and love your beddies too so i wanted to share that in the end um so that's their beds we are not going to keep the rocker in here um because that will go in the nursery when the playroom is cleaned out and we get all that situated so the rocker will be all gone out of here out of here eventually and then over here we have their new dresser which we love it's such a good dresser i like i feel like everybody i feel so I've, i see so many people have the ikea dresser this is the what's it called hymnist i don't even know if, that, if that's how you say it i probably did not say that right but for right now where we have like a change of table on top for the time being until we don't need that in here anymore but the dresser is super, super nice. De the dresser we were going to get Delaney was uh, just a chest of drawers, like kind of like this. But I am so glad we ended up getting the girls' new dressers. They roll super easily and 
We love the dresser, um, but that's what we've done in this room so far. While we were at Ikea, we went ahead and got bookshelves to go. I think we're going to put them right there is what I'm thinking. Y'all know like at our old house, we had the, um, like the floating, I don't know what you call them. They're like uh, the white bookshelves that we had books on them. So we got those for the little girl's room. We didn't get them for Delaney's room, but this is the little girl's room. We're going to do like a rug in their rooms. This room is smaller than Delaney's room. Um, but we did that just so the lady could have like a homeschool space and, um, just for, we thought that would be best for now. Everything has turned out so good. I am really happy with it. The next thing we're going to do, I'm getting ready to, um, organize their closets and switch Ren's clothes from Delaney's room into her new room, switch everything from her closet into here. And so I'm going to do that. I've got the drawers pretty much organized. I need to finish up laundry and finish that. Um, but the room, it just feels so good in these rooms. Feels good to know that there's not a bunch of clutter. They're clean. Um, as soon as I get these closets done, they'll be pretty much finished for the time being. This week, I'm going to figure out toy storage for each room where this rocking chair is. I'm going to we're going to do some kind of toy storage right here. Um, I think we're going to put the play kitchen in this room as well. Um, Delaney don't really have as much use for that. So I think we might put it right there. Um, and then like rugs in the rooms and then Delaney's room. We're going to, I think I might get her like a cube storage for the toys because we are getting rid of the playroom. We are making that into the new nursery. So we've got to figure out toy storage for both of the rooms so we can get rid of that playroom. But we also have room in the closets to do a little something for toy storage in there as well. So that is something I'm going to figure out this week to really like finish up the rooms other than decorating them. Still, um, that'll eventually come. I'm not in a big hurry to do that. I kind of mainly wanted to get the furniture, get their new beds, dressers, get those situated. And I will feel much better before this baby comes. Um, one thing I'd like to do in the rooms, like uh, against the wall where both of their beds are, um, I see some really cute like wallpaper Instagram accounts um, that are so pretty that I think would be really cute for both of their rooms. So that may be something I eventually look into. Like I said, decorating is not something that I have to do right now. I think it'll eventually come rugs, decorating. I do have a few things that we might use in this room that was in Millie's old nursery. I have something, uh, Y'all remember the gold flower thing to go above the dresser? I think we might reuse that and keep that in here. So anyways, we I think this week we'll hang uh, their little bookshelves uh, to go ahead and get some little book storage for this room. But anyways, that is what we've done so far. Still have some things to do, but the other things other than the toy storage, which I'm going to work on this week, the other things I'm not super worried about. Everything's turned out really well. Now I'm going to get started on the closets and get those organized. <laughs>
with closets and putting clothes up. They are organized as good as they're gonna get, at least for today. So, um, this is gonna be nice because I think I'm gonna do some toy storage in here for this. And then this is from Target. I just realized I have it backwards. It needs to be turned around. That wood right there wouldn't show. It'd be all white. Um, they were both in Delaney's closet. And they had me, uh, Delaney and Ren's shoes on. But I took one of them in here to put the girl uh, Ren and Millie. Or yeah, Ren and Millie's shoes on for the time being. This is like extra decor that I'm not sure if I'll use or not. But that is as good as it's going to get. At least I've got... They're clothes separated. Um, we've got to get uh, the, a bunch of spring clothes for the girls. It is, we're getting a lot of warm days here. Wren has a good bit, I bought a good bit from a friend for her. Like, Well, I should say play clothes. Um, but the other two need a good bit of stuff. But anyways, that's as good as the closets we're gonna get. Um, and then we'll be able to do some storage right there. The drawers, pretty organized. Um, pretty well. I've got a bin full of seasonal things that need to be put in our building. And then Delaney's closet um, has plenty of room for storage. So we're going to, I think I might do some kind of cube in here for her. We can move that shoe thing to the side if needed. And we've got some room to put either like a couple of her bigger toy items or we can get her a cube thing to put in here. There's plenty of room for that. And then we've got blank blankets and we got a ton of hangers. But anyways, I haven't, I didn't try to like organize them like by color or anything like that. I just really mainly tried to clean them up and switch the closets around and I am truly exhausted. I am exhausted. 31 weeks pregnant as of tomorrow. Well, probably the day you see this. I'm 31 weeks and I have had to take many, many breaks, but I'm exhausted now. I'm just glad I got them at least switched and they're not perfect, not like Pinterest closets or anything, but they are functional and I am happy with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I noticed a bunch of random things, room transformation, a Sam's haul, shopping a little bit at Ikea, organizing a little bit but either way i hope y'all enjoyed coming along these last few days with me enjoyed all the things that i've showed y'all but give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new to my channel and i'll see you guys soon for another video bye mm -hmm.